Welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to explain how to convert a 3D drawing or 3D modeling to 2D drawings. 2D drawings, it means orthographic to 2Ds. Here, two types of 2D drawings are there. We can understand by first angle and third angle projections. Those projections will be explained in this video. In this model space, I have a 3D model. It already modeled by me. So now I am going to explain how to make a 2D drawings from this model. You should know what is the first angle or third angle. Mostly in architectural we use first angle and the mechanical production companies using the third angle projection. Here I have already set my layout. Uh, from the page manager setup you can see here the page set manager so here first angle projection so first I have to set some things so right click on here then go to drawing setup or drafting setup see the drafting setup you can see here the first angle here third angle if you if you don't know about this what is the first angle or what is the third angle so don't worry first we have to set this the first angle then we can understand what is the first angle click ok now we have the paper space uh, in node setting so i have to put those 3d model into this layout so uh, click on this home and go to base this base there are two options are there first one model space it means from AutoCAD model space you can see this icon then from inventor the inventor is a separate version for mechanical drawings mostly the production drawings so now we have only model space so click on this icon then it's asking you which point it means the specific specifically we can place a location of base view so here this is my base view as front this is my front view so click on somewhere around here then exit here we have drawing then you can adjust all projections but we have to enter this one now you can see the two 3d drawing is converted into the 2d drawing hidden lines and the continuous line so you can move from here to here by clicking this ripping and also the scale is view scale you can increase by clicking this two in one likewise you can edit it here i have the front view now i am going to make side view so click on this object then this layout is will active then go to projected in this projected you can see here wherever you can go to move to a mouse then it's automatically converting the views the top view is here likewise you can go anywhere and make or convert all drawings this is a basic idea the basic thing is this most useful to tool is this in AutoCAD so I am going to place it here somewhere around here then enter now I can adjust this so select all these objects and move this one Now I want to project my plan view so click on this one and go to project that go and place my plan view then enter here this is my plan view and this is the front view and go to side view then I want to make an isometric view of course we can do click on this one and go to project that and click on somewhere around here this is your isometric view then enter here this item isometric view only you have to change any other view or change the visual styles so click on this one and go to edit view in this edit view we here some options are there visible hidden lines visible and hidden lines here the visible only lines here shaded lines here shaded and visible and hidden lines so i am going to select this option click on it's converted then click on this exit here you can see 
Yeah, so many complicated objects are there. If you feel it, this one is very complicated, of course you can change. Click on this one, go to edit view, then go to shaded visible lines. Now click on exit. Now you can see perfectly, we can see the 3D model. In this layout, I just adjusted this objects or viewports by moving. In this case, if you want to place a section or show some sections, you can make it. So click on this side view, click on here, then go to the section option. Click on this. Here some section of the objects are there. First, uh, I am going to introduce the full section. This is mostly we use the full section. If you want to, in some cases, you can separate it by the half or offset uh, section also. In this case, I am only explaining the full section. So click on this full, full section. In this full, full section, you have to decide what is a slice point or slice or section plane. This is my section plane just I decided. So click uh, somewhere around here and then drag and click it here. This is called as slicing method. So I just click on out here then place it here. You can only place left or right. So click in here you can place a section. Click on exit. It's automatically cut all these sections and placing the cutting plane. So click on this. This one is called our section and section scale. So I am dragging it here and deselect this. This is my one of the section of this object. If you want, you can move it. You can move it by clicking it here. So click on this move button. I am some around the slice angle is here. If you come, if you use this object, you can see the difference. So somewhere around here is automatically this section will update. So click on here, then further I am moving it here. As you can see the section variations. If you want, you can uh, select some points and check this section details it is enough or not. Then you can adjust this. So I am going to uh, place it here. The most of the details will capture. This one is the AA section from the side view, and I am placed. Uh, this section is here. And likewise, from plan view, I can produce a section. So same way. So click on here and go to the section. Click on this section. Go to full and select the our section plane click then you can place it anywhere or right or left yes in this case i am placing it here from around here then click exit the section view and you can adjust this section detail in here time to show the details in this case here I want to show this detail in line. So click on this viewport and go to detail. Click on circular. Then I am going to choose this area. So click on here. Then I can click it here. Then exit. Now it's the time to draw a third angle projection. So click on here, then right click and go to drafting setup. Then click on this third angle and click OK. Now this layout set for third angle projection. So as usual, click on this base and go to from model space. And Click it here, exit, then same as the plan view and side view and go to place the 3D view and enter. Now click on this one and move it to viewport somewhere on here, click it. Then, the, then go to deselect and you can change this 
view click on this one and go to edit view and change this as shade mode the shaded one then click on exit so the same as the first angle projections we can project the uh, sections so click on layout and go to section go to full section so i want to draw for this side view section so i am placing it here and here the section should be placed is here if you want to place it the section is this side you can place it here this is our section view you can click it here and exit another section is here so click on section full section and click it here go to click this one click it here then place the section exit yes this is the section view you can place it here then deselect now if you want to place a 3d it means a 3d detail also you can place so i am going to choose this area so click on detail go to circular then select this object i am going to click it here and select this part this part the section or detail i want to need so i am going to place it somewhere around here then exit these are the details now i am going to change move this object up to here click it then deselect also you can adjust this one if you want to you can uh, change this circle size is automatically correcting our detail here you can see that it's automatically correcting our view so this is a ready to 2d conversion here the first angle third angle and first angle now we have model and the layouts for first angle and third angle projects if you have any changes in 3d we can change it here then we'll see what will happen so i'm going to make some circles here click on this one and go to center radius then i am putting some circles here here updating our views so you can see here the views and here new object in here and also here you can see everywhere updated in this video we learn about first angle projection and third angle projections how to convert or how to place from a 3d modeling then we can convert all drawings or all sections from that i hope uh, you understood this one uh, if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel i will give more details in this autocad tutorials thank you